All right, class. The very first thing I want to talk to you about is what you see in front of you. These two materials that are used to make up the ideal electrolytic solution. Notice we have distilled water. Not tap water, not spring water, not rain water, but distilled water. Reason being, there's very little to no solids to precipitate out of the water during the electrolytic reaction. The other material you see here is sodium hydroxide, not baking soda, not rock salt, not table salt, not sea salt, not citric acid, but sodium hydroxide, or you can also use potassium hydroxide. Reason being, these two materials are true catalysts and do not become a part of your electrolytic reaction. They won't ruin your plates, they won't create gunk in the water, and they also will not produce any toxic gases. So your two ideal solutions and the very first step to building a successful electrolyzer is starting with the proper electrolytic components.